Google released a new model that can control your computer. This is called Gemini 2.5 computer use model that beats other computer use models namely Cloud Sonnet 4.5, Sonnet 4 and even OpenAI. It is we're gonna show you how this new model works and how you can run it locally to see how you can automate tasks running on a browser empowered by this very new model. Let's check it out. This new model that is from Google is highly optimized for automating computer tasks mainly on your browser and also it is very promising to automate tasks over your mobile UI as well. So let's see how it works before we see that in action. At the beginning when you will run this model through API which I will show you, it has start capturing some context about first of all what you want to automate on your browser. Let's say I want to ask to go and book some tickets for me, check out this website. So you will see that it's automating all of that in your browser and it takes screenshots. So with using those screenshots and previous context, maybe your previous questions, plus number one which is the new request that you're asking, it use these two to send it to the model. Now this new optimized model will receive your new request and all the context that has been happening so far and also capturing a screenshot to see where it is then it will send some actions through the functions that we will see it says that click on this or scroll down or scroll up these are what model will decide and send it as a text we take it and when we apply that to over our browser we will see that in action our browser is getting changed and the model is navigating through the browser then after that, the execution is done. Now we have a new environment within the browser. We do the same thing. We capture a screenshot, we capture the new context, send it back to the model. So this sort of agentic loop is keep happening until we finish the task that we asked from this computer use model. As you might have already heard, this is really not the first model that can be used for computer use or automation activities over browser. So we have seen cloud models can do so and even opening a computer use model. But if you see the benchmarks, checking my screen right now, so far this new Gemini 2.5 based computer use model is really beating all of them. Not only from the performance perspective, this is based on these four very popular benchmarks for computer use but also from a speed and latency perspective, it's pretty good. And this chart is pretty descriptive to tell you where this new model stands for from accuracy versus latency compared to the models that I mentioned. Gemini 2.5 computer use is the one that has higher accuracy compared to the other ones. And from the latency perspective, it is very clear that this one is faster because it's fairly optimized for automating tasks on browser. And as you guess, we need something to be fast. You're not going to sit forever waiting for the model to do something on our browser. We want to have that in action, fast and straightforward, which makes Gemini 2.5 a great candidate so far. You are maybe already thinking about, okay, for what specific use cases I can use this model? Well, if checking out the documentation of Gemini 2.5 computer use, they're mainly talking about that, hey, you can use this model for automating repetitive data entry or form filling on websites. If you are doing such a thing right now, definitely and heavily consider using this model to significantly save time. Second, if you are performing automated testing of web applications and user flows, definitely use this model and let this model give you feedback as it goes through that user flow. Third, if you're conducting research across various websites, namely gathering product information, prices and reviews from e-commerce sites to inform a purchase. This is really great, let's say if you go to Amazon to purchase something you want to read the reviews or if you go to the Google map to review uh, to read reviews you don't want to do web scrapping which is pretty cumbersome but let let an AI assistant like an agent go through all those reviews and scroll down for you and capture that summarize it and give you a nice report these are just a couple of different type of use cases but sky's the limit for using any sort of automation all right, let's see how we can use it. It's literally like any other Gemini models that you can call from Google by just calling the API. You either need to have your Gemini or Google AI Studio key to call the API, or if you're using Vertex AI on GCP or Google Cloud Platform, you can also use this model through the Vertex AI as well, as both platforms are supporting this new model. There is no free tier usage, there is no sort of out of a shelf platform based usage, you need to call it through the API. And talking about API, you just need to install Google Gen AI, and after importing this, you can see that I am generating a configuration for calling this model at this section. I need to first call the new tool, which is the computer use, 
and telling that, hey, I want to run this computer use tool over my environment browser, and I don't want to do this type of activities, which is excluded functions. Excluded functions means you are making sure that your automated browser activity through this model doesn't do drag and drop here. There are a list of activities you can include or exclude, which I'm going to show you shortly, but this is just an example of you can also exclude any activities if you don't want this model to run on your browser. After initiating that, you just need to call the model with what you're going to ask. For example, hey, search for rated smart fridges with touch screen, blah, blah, blah. This is literally my ask that needs multiple steps of activities running on my browser with the configuration I specified on the top. And then you just take this model name to call this new model and then see the response running whether here or on your browser. So if I print the response here, the model is just telling you that click screenshot go up go down it's just a navigation but you need to take it and run it on your browser which is a separate code and i will show you that also shortly here's the response example you can see that it's first tell you a text that this is the model reasoning okay i need to do this i need to first start doing that so you know what's the reasoning behind that activity that model computer use has selected then it's going to call a function that does navigation over your browser to tell you what i'm going to do i want to type let's say on your search bar at this coordination of your screen and typing this over the browser because I want to do Google search on a smart fridges that you had. So then our code just technically taking this and running it on our browser. We talked about actions to include or exclude them. So what are the supported UI actions? Based on the reference documentations, these are currently supported activities you can use on your UI. You can open a browser, wait for five seconds, go back, go forward. These are already defined by the API. You don't need to do anything. Navigate, click add, type text add, literally the main activities that you do when you go to the browser. You can exclude them. You can also add your custom activity if it's not listed here as well. All right, this was just how you can call the API, add your list of activities or exclude them, and then just call the API to see what you should do based on the computer automation tasks that you have asked, right? But how about if there's a package that already is, already it is coded, I just clone it and run this computer use model over my browser. Well, good news, you don't need to code it because Google released that. It's called computer use preview that it has its own GitHub repo. What you need to do, just technically clone this Git repo and navigate to the main folder and just install requirement.txt, which are the packages that you need to install out of this cloned GitHub repo to let this ready to be running. Then you need to run Playwright and install Chrome because obviously you need to automate tasks over the browser. And that's it. Don't forget to add your API key if you're using Google AI Studio with export like this. Or if you are using Vertex AI, you need to add your project ID, location, and use gcloud authentication command line to authenticate to Vertex. So you have two choices. You just need to use one of them. And then that's it. What you need to do, just run the main.py with whatever you're going to ask to automate that. Hey, go to Google and do this for me or search this or capture these reviews from Google map, whatever you want to do. So let me show you in action. All right. I have cloned the repo already and went through all the steps that I showed you. You can see I am that directory and just call it main.py as I told you about then dash dash query. Here is my ask. I want to let this computer use model to act like a professional YouTuber. So I'm asking that they go to my YouTube channel, which is MG Cafe, and check out my latest videos from the number of views, titles, thumbnails, and tell what I can improve. So this is not something I can do it easily through a code or web scrubbing or maybe calling YouTube API stuff. This is not a straightforward and definitely doing it manually is easier. But now I want to do this fully automated because of this new model. So I will hit enter and it should launch a browser for me. My hands are up right now. I'm not doing anything, so it is really navigating by itself, and I'm expecting it right now to go to my YouTube channel with searching the handler. Sometimes it's actually telling you that, hey, prove that I'm not a robot. If that happens to you, you need to do it manually because the model is not capable of doing that. So if I go back to my terminal, you'll see that it is telling the reasoning of the steps and what it is doing. First, it opened the browser, succeeded, then it says that, okay, I need to go to this MG Cafe channel and here's the function call activity. We type in this, which it did. But now it's stuck because saying that, hey, I cannot interact with, I'm not a robot, you need to do it for me. So let me help this model. I just gonna say I'm not a robot. And this is just one time, by, by the way, you don't need to do it every time. 
and motorcycle so i am gonna click on verify and that's it so i want to just go back here and type yes i did it and from here i need to be all good so let's go back to my actually browser you will see that it is now it just opened my browser uh, and then it's going to my youtube channel so let me minimize this you will see that on the top it is finding my channel and then at the same time you can see my terminal Are you ready to level up your skills and knowledge all right i just muted myself so it went to my channel again my hands are up it's reading now through all my videos on the left side you will see the terminal it is now scrolling down by itself to see the list of the latest 20 videos thumbnails and titles that i asked and if i just go back to the terminal you will see that a scroll down has been the type of activity that it has selected so far so done i didn't do anything it just closed the browser by itself and here's the nice summary telling me that what should i improve about my thumbnails imagery titles I honestly i'm so keen on reading reading this but respecting your time i'm gonna do that after the video but that was just a very quick example to tell you how you can automate tasks with just running this locally using this pre-made github repo released by google so you don't need to code everything from scratch something to note that this model name is gemini 2.5 computer use preview so make sure you use this model name second it imports it supports both type of image and text obviously it's needed for computer use Third, there is a token limit as you guess. So the input token is 120k and the output token limit is 64. And as we discussed, it has been latest, uh, lately released at October 2025 as I'm recording this video. All right, that was all about this computer use model with Gemini. I hope you found it helpful. If yes, I would be very thankful if you click on like icon and make sure you subscribe so you won't miss the next video. Thank you so much.